how do you guys um, stay on top of the industry, um, things like new products and suppliers, um, and how important is this in your, what you do? Very important. Uh, I think for, I, I love materiality, but what I do find is like that we do work with a core group of collaborators and we're very loyal mm. to work with them. But when I set up our studio, like our current space, I wanted to make the finishes front and centre. So you walk straight into that room because I do think it's almost like you should be celebrating that materiality. You know, it becomes a journey uh, as part of our strategy of how we work with our clients and, and how they interact with materiality. What does that look like for you or for a larger practice? I think I think going back to the basics is, is fundamental. We 3D print, we test materials. Being able to talk to the makers and the blacksmiths if we're dealing with metals and you know what type of patinas can come on a, on a particular finish and so trying to treat it more like a, a sort of research arm of the practice which we quite like sort of builds the sort of dialogue um, amongst the design teams. Do you defer to a, a core palette of finishes? What I try and aim for in my work is to be timeless and to create uh, my buildings with materials that are natural, long-lasting, low maintenance, and very good for the environment. It's using things that are tried and tested, and I always say to people, when you go to Rome, you love walking around there, you love seeing the buildings, and they're made of a particular material that's been there for 2,000 years, and it's still going strong, and that's what I'm going to give you, something like that. That's my aim in life, is to produce that. Can you talk a little bit about how you go about establishing your network? Well, you must already have a fairly established network. All of our key engineers and uh, other associated designers like landscape and lighting and any other particular uh, technical expert, they're all part of a kind of collaborative process in conceiving and executing good work. I think that's also part of the fun. It's like you've got to have like-minded designers that want to go on the journey with you. What about when you need to expand your network if a project calls for it? Uh, I mean, my background was um, initially in civil and structural engineering because uh, my father didn't like architects, made me study engineering. And so working with structural engineers, it's, it's a really important thing to have, for me, a really good structural engineer who understands that I'm going to come up with a quick concept and then together we're going to refine that concept. So I worked with one guy for years and years and years and he was fantastic. He went and retired. How dare he? And it was one of those things where I just thought, where do I go next? I actually went through everyone else's Instagram <laughs> to check who they were using and made a little list. And all of the people that I sort of respect within the profession, I had a list of all their consultants. And I'm going, ah, you know, there's a common thread across here. But Having that long-term relationship with all these people, right down to your plumbers and your electricians, I think is really important. But yeah, it's just a slow process of building up that team. Architects and designers can use ArchiPro to reinforce connections within their network by tagging other professionals engaged on those projects. This creates a real connected community of tried and trusted professionals and improves discoverability when homeowners are searching for providers to engage with on their project. We couldn't do what we do without um, a really good extended team and I think that's something that we really value. They know exactly how we do things and it actually makes working a breeze and it's actually cost effective for our clients because Everyone knows where they're going in the project. The same with our joiners as well. They're just great to work with. We do a lot of prototyping and it's always the most exciting time in the office. It's like Christmas when they come in with this little bit saying it's gonna look like this. It's a really exciting part of, of the process. 